welcome back to another video. Today's video is another tiny makeover video and as you can tell it is the goth family. Just a touch base in case someone's new here and I apologize if you have heard me say this a million times but I am redoing all of the townies outfits and clothes and stuff but I kept it with the rules that I would not change anything you could not change in real life so no tummy tucks or um, plastic surgery or anything like that for the sims they are their natural exactly how they were created that's how they look I've just changed the clothing the hair makeup shoes eyebrows everything you can change normally in real life I think what started off these tiny makeovers was actually the goth family how could you not shake up the goth family I mean the goth family is such a well-known sims family original from the sims 1 i believe i'm pretty sure they were in sims 1 carried on through sims 2 sims 3 sims 4 and i just really thought that we really needed to shake it up and just change the goths and give her a bit of a makeover so i wanted her to be all glam and glitz for me it was really important that bella was on point with her looking so i did put her in that absolutely fabulous gown that you previously saw there i have never really been much of a cast person i am pretty terrible in creator sim and i hope that that you know doesn't come forward too much in these creator sim videos that i do here i hope that you are enjoying this and that you do like sort of how they how they're turning out all of these videos are pretty recorded I create, I made, well, I'm voiceovering them today on the 20th of February, and they will all be up on YouTube, um, you know, th periodically throughout time as sort of a C fit and everything works out. I will also be creating all of these, uh, all of these things will also be going up on the gallery in case you want them. But uh, leave a comment down below if you really would like to see a particular family go up on the gallery. Sometimes I get a little bit slack when it comes to the gallery and I mean sometimes I spend more time editing my videos than actually playing sims these days. So I don't always have time to go on the gallery and check everything out and make sure everything's spish spang and absolutely perfect. I tried to give more to more sort of a unique look. Sleek back and oh my god did I love giving him that moustache you saw previously there. And Cassandra Goth, I kept her with the kind of a little bit more of a nerdy look. Um, I absolutely thought she looked stunning. Those glasses looked adorable on her. And then here I am just giving her a bit more of a makeover normally so that she can look a bit more... Ah, oh, what's the right wording? I'm not sure. I just wanted her to look really, really cute and adorable. You know, give her a really nice makeover. I forgotten the um, bio for the Goth family. I have never played as a Goth family. I don't think in Sims 1, 2, 3 or in 4. I, it's nothing like personal. I don't know why I'd never played as the goth family i've never really played as many townies i have to have a reason to play as a townie and i don't even think after this makeover i will start playing as townies although i'm really happy with sort of the house reno i also gave them it looks completely different look the house looked run down and it looked a little bit old and i wanted to spruce it up and give it this whole new bright shiny new look that it sort of needed and I mean I don't know if the video will come up before or after this. If it came up before I hoped you like what I did with the house. So here I am doing Alexander Goth and I really wanted to give him a very different look to something he's ever had before. Very, a very rich look was the one I decided I wanted to go with because he is of course quite rich. All of the Goth family is rich. So I just want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying this collection and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!